that for terrorists. That's promising. Read it, y'all. Read it's the last one. This is where Freddie Mercury lived with Mary in between Feltham and Garden Lodge. And uh, this was his home. And it's during the day. It's kind of cloudy out right now. I'll have some interior, not from this house, but the house down, have guided tours. So to kind of give you the kind of layout that he lived in. But uh, this is his home and some construction is going on right now at the time. Most of the houses are all the same as far as the way it looks. But uh, it's cool. So obviously this has been like updated a little bit, just a tad, but during the 70s, this is where he lived and with Mary until he moved over to Garden Lodge, I believe. I don't know if there was another in between, but yeah, so. I just took a tour of the Sanborn house down at number 18. And he lived on the block as the old Sanborn. He was a cartoonist, Sanborn, uh, and his wife in the 1800s. But yeah, and I'll be going back in that house to do the interior, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so but yep this is where he lived quite proud to say I've got all three homes on video quite a regal looking block it's middle class uh, neighborhood what I've learned uh, so in the West Kensington area, location of London. As I've been to all his properties, it seemed like they were kind of relatively not too far from each other. And so you have the gated fence here and I believe it's like five floors in this home. I'll, I'll find out. No, the, the, she said the, lay, the layout is all the same when all the homes are on this block. So the layout is all the same. But yeah, this is this is uh, Stafford Terrace. He did a quite a quite a, a few interviews in this home with the band and reporters. You know, well, interviewers will come out to interview him. And uh, he had some parties here with Mary during the time that he lived here. And uh, this is it. I have more video of the layout in a little bit, but Freddie Mercury, Stafford Terrace. <laughs>